Hello and welcome to PlayStation Grenade. In a world filled with AAA titles and sequels, it can sometimes be a little difficult to notice the potential of smaller indie titles. One in particular looks to be doing something different, something unique, and dare I say it, pioneering. I'm talking about A Way Out. Not only does it have the most charismatic and endearing directors behind it, Joseph Fares, we'll get to him soon, but it also has a new take on cinematic cooperative storytelling. Here are eight things you should know about A Way Out. Let's quickly set the scene. The campaign revolves around Vincent and Leo, who meet one another in prison. Set back in the 1970s, the two share a connection and a tale of revenge unfolds. You don't know anything about me, man. Maybe not, but Harvey killed someone very close to me. With or without you, I'm going after him. Each character has their own personality, with Leo likely to become more aggressive, impulsive and a little hot-headed to say the least. Vincent, on the other hand, is calculated. He's in control at all times, and this dichotomy fuels each new experience running through a way out. If you haven't heard of A Way Out and you're trying to place the genre or similar games in that vein, you'll have trouble, as this is a new approach to video game storytelling. The closest games I can think of are Heavy Rain and Beyond Two Souls, but imagine that in a two-player format with a much higher level of player movement and interactivity. And that two-player element is vital, as the entire game must be played with two people present. That could be at home on your easy clean leather couch, or via the power of the internet and those digital friends we have online. A Way Out uses split screen the majority of the time, allowing us to experience both sides of the story simultaneously. It's even possible for one player to be in a cutscene as the other one walks past. So of course, I'm going to be clowning around in the background of my friend's shots. If you've ever played a heist on GTA and wondered what the heck the other players are doing, then A Way Out will better suit your needs. As each player can see the other at all times, working together becomes easier and the entire story can be seen from two different viewpoints. If you're as ancient as I am, I'm sure you'll remember split screen gaming as a child and my word, it's great to see it back in 2018. The level of detail and dare I say it replayability looks to be staggering. An example of this can be seen in the early demo, which asks players to decide who will take the gun on a mission to rob a gas station. It may seem like an inconsequential choice, but it definitely has repercussions. And like I said earlier, will you give the firearm to the hothead or the calm one? Nobody moves! Stay calm! This is only the starting point too, as NPCs react differently to each character. If all works well, the desire to replay the campaign will be high, as you may be left thinking, what would have happened if Vincent took the gun instead? Hey, I'm Joseph Fares, writer-director of A Way Out. Joseph Fares is the mastermind behind A Way Out, with his filmmaking background crossing over to video games in the past, with Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Fares himself is the most passionate, enthusiastic and honest people I have ever seen in the games industry, and he isn't afraid to speak his mind even when talking about the game's publisher, EA. And this is my idea. It doesn't have anything with the EA sh going on, yeah. with the loot box and stuff. Okay. No. The link between A Way Out and Electronic Arts may be causing many people to look past this one due to the underhanded loot box issues in many of their titles. But once again, Joseph has some words of reassurance for you. All publishers f*** up sometimes, you know? Yeah. That's how it is. As A Way Out is a two-player title, you'd be forgiven if you're expecting to buy two copies to play the game with others. Here is the brilliance of this project, as share play technology will work across PS4, PC and Xbox. But of course, this isn't cross-platform, just make sure that one's out there. Here's what happens. Once you invite a friend to the game, they will have a demo version of the title downloaded to their console or PC. They can only access it when you're with them though. In fact, I'll turn this over to the director, as he can explain this in a more eloquent way than I. You don't have to buy two copies, F this one. You only buy one copy and you invite your friend to play with you for free. I mean the entire game for free, for real. Well said, sir. And finally, when can we expect a way out, Joseph? Game's coming out March 23rd, 2018. Thank you very much. I freaking love that guy. I'll most definitely be picking up this game, but what do you think? Does the EA effect scare you? Or is this on your list of games to play in 2018? I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments below. I'm Adam from PlayStation Grenade. It's been a damn pleasure. I'll see you next time.